Hi, I hope that you are well. Thank you so much for joining me today where we're going to create. And if you remember a few weeks ago, we made a decorative vase by taking a bottle and wrapping it in yarn. Today, we're here to create another decorative vase that is going to bring the colors of autumn inside. And this time, we are going to use a technique called decoupage. I will show you what we're going to use and then we'll get started. So it's a little windy today and it's a little buggy today, so I apologize for any sound disturbances or bugs that fly past the camera. But we're going to use tissue paper, scissors, I've got my bottle, and again I just filled it with warm water, peeled the label off, I left the adhesive on because that's going to help us stick the tissue paper onto the jar. I've got a decoupage medium. Basically, to do this, all you need to do is mix some school glue with a little water to thin it out, make it easier to paint on. I've got the scissors, I've got the paintbrush, and I have the tissue paper. So what I did was cut my tissue paper into circles. Because of the wind, I've got them paper clipped together. We're going to paint the sealer onto the bottle with our trusty paintbrush and I'm just going to start at the bottom and add more as we move upward with the tissue paper. This stuff can dry quickly. So you want to act fast. So my plan here is just to take the tissue paper that I cut into circles, pull them out of there one at a time, and just stick them on. That doesn't even matter because you're just going to stick more glue on the top so if you do get glue on the top also don't worry about that because gonna, a lot of it's going to get covered anyway. So I'm overlapping the circles a little bit. Now if you're doing this inside where it's not where you don't have to worry about the wind, then you could lay your circles in three separate piles and it's easier to know which one you're picking up. So that is the first round across the bottom done. We're just going to start there again. Add some glue over the top of what's there and then up a little higher. Start with the orange there. So now you do not have to cut yours into circles. You could actually save a lot of time with that and just rip them as you're going along.
So I'm gonna keep going and then we'll come back. So now I'm up to the top and I am just going to configure them so that the top just has that little decorative edge so it'll be there'll be a little dip at the top and I just hold it by the top right there so that I don't have to worry about it not looking so nice. There we are. That one looks a little better. Gonna add a little more glue there. a little squiggly but that's okay so I might overlap a little bit more there but there is my purple glue that down there's my orange now depending upon how shiny you want this to be You could go over the whole thing with another layer of the decoupage. Medium. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna give it a couple minutes to dry so you can come back and see how it looks. So while it is not all the way dry, it is well on its way to drying. So there we are. And I love with this design, the way that light can shine through the bottle and kind of give you that backlit leaf feel that you get in autumn. I'm going to add another layer of the gloss medium to it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed creating with me and that you'll give this activity a try. I'll be back again soon and until then I hope that you continue to explore your world and use your creativity to improve it. And thank you.